me in. Quiet, please. Broadcasting System presents Quiet, Please, which is written and directed by Willis Cooper and features Ernest Chappell. Quiet, Please, for tonight is called Take Me Out to the Graveyard. Which one, I said? Which graveyard? We got a lot of them. The new one, the old one, the Catholic one, the potter's field. Oh, any one will do, driver. I'm not particular. You kidding, mister? No. Just take me out to the graveyard, that's all. Well, you drive a cab 12, 15 years like I've done, you get some funny ones. Drunks that want to take you home with them. Guys that tell you to take them to the Hoots of Hotel when you park practically in front of it. Dames that want you... Yeah, you get some funny ones, but this is the first time I run into this kind of character. Well, so I'm driving a cab to make a buck not to argue with people about where they want to go. So I think. Late time, Senator. That's the farthest. I can rack up a couple of bucks, and maybe there'll be somebody out there that wants to drive back to town. Get in, mister. Nice day, I see. Yeah, beautiful. I always say this time of the year is the prettiest. Yeah, so do I. Good time of the year to die. Huh? I said this is a good time of the year to die. Yeah, for my dough, no time of the year is a good time to die. You gotta die, though. Yeah, but it ain't good. I don't know. I don't either. I ain't digest it. I can't get very enthusiastic about it. That's why I wanted to go to the graveyard. Why? To die. You ain't nuts, are you, mister? Nope. What's your name, driver? George Peterson. My name's Booth. Pleased to meet you. B-O-O-T-H. Yeah? So you can tell people when they ask you. Tell what people? Well, you know, policemen, coroners, whoever asks. I already asked you if you're nuts, didn't I? <laughs> Well, I'm not. Well, then you better take down your sign. No, I'm perfectly okay. Well, you. something's wrong with you if you talk that way. No. Do you hurt? Uh, like in your noggin or something? <laughs> I never felt better in my life. You want to look out? You might really die. I know it. How do you know? Well, that I couldn't tell you, Julius. I just know it, that's all. And I'm not particularly upset about it. My well, gracious, I am. Think nothing of it, Julius. Now, you start talking crazy there. I'm not going to argue with you, Julius. And don't die. Julius, you stick to your driving and let me worry about the dying, will you? You ain't worrying. You're all the time grinning. I can see in the rearview mirror. Uh, watch the road. <laughs> you ain't afraid of getting killed, are you? No, I'm not. I... I didn't like the way you said that there. I'm sorry. How are you going to do this, Mr. Booth? Dying? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, what if you don't? I will. Hey, listen. Mom? What about me? Oh, you'll be all right, Tony. You? you sure? Positive. Well, that's something. You know, it is a beautiful day. You changing your mind? I can't change my mind. Hey, do you work on the radio or something? Why? Oh, I just thought maybe it was one of them fellas that think of these mystery kind of stories. You know, at night he was practicing on me. Sorry to disappoint you, Julius. I don't get it. You will. You live here in town? No. Stranger, huh? That's right. A stranger on his last taxi cab ride. I'm beginning to get an idea about you, stranger. You are? I sure am. 
What kind of idea are you getting, Julia? Listen, mister. No suicides in my cab. I'm not going to commit suicide, Julia. Now, you better not. But I am going to die. Listen. Now, what are you stopping for? This isn't the cemetery. I know it ain't, but this is as far as you're going. Now, what do you mean? I hired you to get it up. Now, look, here, I... Nick, Nick, get out, Mr. Booth. I ain't riding any loose nuts in any cemetery with suicide on her mind. I told you I am not going to commit suicide. I'll say you ain't. Out of my cab, at least. Outside, mister. If you say so. <laughs> but it's certainly... And the clock says 40 cents. Okay. Keep the rest of it. You know, you're not going to make it come out any difference this way. I really wasn't going to die in your cab. Look out! Yeah. yeah, he was right. He was one of the sort of gasoline trucks that hit him. How do you think of that? He called it, didn't he? Then he was going to die. Why was he right? Well, like I said, pretty nearly anything can happen to a cab driver. Only it probably ever happened twice. So it's a couple of months later, and I'm bucking a line at the corner of Adams and Fulton. And this girl comes out of the store and walks towards me. She's wearing black stockings. I've seen that gal's wearing black stockings these days. She steps towards the cab, so I reach out the window and then the door, and I say, Where to, lady? Take me out to the graveyard. What'd you say, lady? I said the graveyard, the cemetery. Lady, are you kidding me? Why should I kid you, driver? What cemetery do you want to go to, lady? Oh, is there more than one? Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, you pick one out. I turn around and see her. Look at her. She's a tough work. I'm going to get out 26, 27. She had on these black stockings. I look at her a minute. I said, Lady, listen. Yes? Are you sure you want to go to the graveyard? I certainly am. Why? I don't like to go to the graveyard, lady. You don't? No, lady. Well, that's all very interesting. But I want you to go to the graveyard. So will you please pull down your flag and start? Now, please, do. It never occurred to me for the longest time that she called me Judith. How does she know my name? Hey, how do you figure this one out? Oh, and I don't like any part of this. Why trip to the green I started just like this? Look what happened. Say, I like to figure I'll run out of gas for this day. I think I'm before when I hack you over the table. I want to go. I just opened my mouth to say it to her, and she says... And don't tell me you're out of gas, Judith, because I know that. I can see your day. Lady, I was just going to tell it's you that... It's graveyard, Judith. What are you going to do with a thing like this here? I don't like any little bitsy part of it. I... I try to jump a red light with a cop standing right there looking at me, and it, it turns green. And so, yeah, with a black stocking, just take off and laugh. She was the cheerfulest woman I ever seen. She leans over and talks in my ear. I'm very good. I wanted to say, why, lady? But you know what? I was scared of how she'd answer me. Up Adams to Maine, out Maine to Knoxville, out Knoxville on the way to Big Maine. Well, she said something. I was thinking. I said, What'd you say, lady? I said, Can't you drive faster? I thought I was saying, Lady, they got speed laws in this here town. That wasn't the way it came out. The way it came out was different. Well, I, I know it came out different because of the way she answered me. Because I have to get there quickly. Because I've got to How scared can you get? I missed the street car by about six inches. <laughs> Followed my heart back down and drove about half a block before I spoke to her again. I said it very careful. I didn't understand you, lady. What? I didn't get you. Uh, what you said. Oh, I said I've got to die. I thought that's what you said. You see, that's why we have to hurry. You don't want to go to a hospital? Yeah, I'm trying to make myself. What is it? Rationalized the thing. I said, 
Uh, you don't want to go to a hospital, huh? I'm not sick. Well, what's all this about wanting to die, then? I didn't say I wanted to die. I said I have to die. This wouldn't be a gag, would it? No, it wouldn't. It certainly would not. No, you wouldn't know about this guy. What are you talking about? There was a guy a couple of months ago. His name was Mr. Booth. Well? He got in my cab, and he wanted to go to the graveyard. Oh. And he said he was going to die. Did he? You mean, did he say so, or did he die? Yes. He done both, lady. What? You see? Mm. Lady, get out of my cab. I will not. You're not going to die in my cab now. Well, I will if you don't get to the graveyard pretty quick. You get out. I won't do it. I hired you to take me to the graveyard. You talk just like that, Mr. Booth did. Did you make him get out of your cab? You're darn right I did. Well, you're going to be happy, Dad. I just throw him out. Well, you can't throw a woman out. No. But I can just park here till you get out. But I won't get out. You will, too. No, I won't. I'll die right here in your cab. Lady, please don't do that. Then you get along to the graveyard. You better hurry, too. Please. Well, please. 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 What you say anyway? 
And it's true, Inspector. Just as true as I'm standing. Sit in here. Junius. Sir? You didn't kill them people, did you? Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Sir? I just said, hmm. Oh. You know who I ought to suspend for a license? No, don't. Please don't, I mean, Inspector. I ought to. I've got to make a living. You don't have to kill people. I don't. Will they die? Everybody dies. Yeah, but not in your cab. What? I mean they oughtn't to die in your cab. Well, that'll be all right with me, Inspector. You, uh, you can't figure out any reason, huh? But if I could, would I be taking people to the graveyard? Hey, you've got something there, Julius. I know it. But, of course, if people tell you to take them somewhere, you have to take them. City Ordinance 809B. I know it, I know it. Uh, I can't figure it out. Me neither. Must be something in your cab. What? Maybe your cab's haunted. I'll be. I mean... I don't think so. Sure you don't say anything to him? Well, I beef about taking him to the graveyard. I mean, besides that. No. You, you don't put no hex on him or anything? I wouldn't know how. Mm. What am I going to do, Inspector? About what? Oh, uh, well, uh, you, you can't do anything about these people. They're, they're all dead, I think. They sure are. Yeah, but don't do it anymore. Don't do what? Or I'll suspend your license. But, Inspector! Don't give me an argument now, Julius. I ain't, Inspector. Listen, I... One more, and I snatch your license. But I tell you that I... Listen, Julius. What? There must be a reason for it. But what, Inspector? Where's your cab? Outside. Why? I got an idea. Now, listen, Inspector. What? I thought you was... Was what? I guess you ain't, though. Yes, I am. Now, Inspector. Driver. Sir? Take me out to the graveyard. Okay, so what could I do? Well, he's a license inspector, ain't he? Okay. How do you feel, Inspector? I feel okay. Good. Hey, you can drive fast if you want to. I'll square a pinch. No, Inspector. Go ahead. I go fast. I bump into something. You get your skull busted. That's all, brother. You won't bump into anything. Yeah, you ain't kidding. You heading for the cemetery? Well, you call the cab, Inspector. I don't feel anything. Stay that way, will you? When did these people tell you they was going to die? Different times. I'll tell you if I feel like it. Yeah, you do that, and I'll stop. Yeah, that'll be all right. And then I'll run. Well, I feel okay. Just keep that way, Inspector. It's all I ask. This, uh, this here's a nice cab, you know, Julius. Yeah, it used to be. Hey, Julius. What? This here cab smells funny. I don't smell nothing. Well, I do. Now, listen, Inspector, I... No, no, no. It's nice. Oh. Wow. Huh? Carnations. You feel okay, Inspector? Sure. And roses. Listen now, sir, I... And and something else. What? Lily's fault. By golly, that's right. Oh. Lily's. Oh, boy. Say, Julius, how far are we from the graveyard? Oh, we're getting closer. You still feel okay? Oh, I feel wonderful. Just smell them lilies and things. Well, I'm glad I can't smell them. Just like a greenhouse. Oh, he's not. Or like a funeral. Say. Hey. Did, did you say Lily's inspector? Yeah. Why? I. I can smell him too. How much further, Julius? We're, we're pretty near there, inspector. 
do you feel? Elegant. How do you feel? Oh. I ain't dead yet. Let the dog say that, for God's sake. <laughs> What's the matter, Junis? You sure you feel all right? Oh, I feel swell. Only them lilies smell awful loud. Dog, no, no, there ain't no lilies. You smell them, don't you? I sure wish I didn't. Look, Julius. What? There's the cemetery. Oh, oh, oh boy, my face. Well, don't stop. Well, why not? I want in. No, sir. Now, listen, Julius. I don't want to go in. I hired you to take me to the cemetery. Oh, the cops. Go on in. Look. Look, I don't like graveyards, Inspector. Go on in. I don't want it. Go on. Oh, broadcasting system.